Hello everyone, welcome back to Pyro Falcon's Let's Play Extravaganza, where it's your Let's Play 2, and today the Akamura and I are starting a new series. This is Sakura Beach. We just finished Sakura Agent in yesterday's episode, and they made an allusion to Sakura Beach, so that's the one we've decided to do. It's also very hot because it is summertime, yes. so Sakura Beach seems appropriate. Let's get to our story, shall we? Here I am again, drifting through the stars. Nebulous galaxies and black holes rushing past me in a blur. This is where I spend most of my time, with my mind wandering through space. It's here that I try to understand what I could never hope to understand. Those a women's. A universe that is so vast that it is beyond human comprehension. It cannot be measured by any means we have right now. Just seeing the sun and the moon cycle around our planet is enough to leave me in awe. They but wait, the sun doesn't circle around your planet. Whatever. They both cycle around the earth. They don't according oh, we got to a flat earth are on our hands. According to invisible forces which are immeasurably powerful. That is the miracle of existence. Everything we see is made from a random sequence of events which have been flowing into each other. It has been this way since the beginning of time. But for now, that random sequence of disasters is leading me into disaster. Stop daydreaming, idiot. I'd better prepare myself for another scolding. Why do you keep doing this? Even now you're doing it. We still have so many bags to move up to this hotel room. You honestly don't expect me to do all this by myself, do you? Ayumi has always been so bossy. She's far too proud for her own good. Does she actually like me as a person or not? I don't get it. Sorry, I'll go do that right away. You better. I'm only be standing there for a few minutes with your head in the clouds. My head goes a bit further than the clouds, Ayumi. Of course. How could I forget about space? Whatever, just hurry up. Come on, Ayumi, stop bullying him. He's such a good boy, after all. Don't you think he deserves a thank you for getting all our bags up here? Uh, of course it's an admirable, eff admirable effort. I'll give him that. But I'm not bullying him. He's standing there like a statue, and we should be moving. You know he likes daydreaming. It's not daydreaming. I'm pondering on the mysteries of the universe. You're so adorable when you talk about that, Seiji. I swear, you always protest in the same way you always do. Some part of me dies a little bit every time she calls me adorable. It's more like I'm a fluffy little dog than a person to her. He's not adorable. He looks like an idiot. Come on, Ayumi. You know you like it when he does that. I most certainly do not, thank you. Then why'd you wait a minute or two before calling him out on it? No reason. I just wanted to see if he's learned not to do that by now. I'm sure that's the reason, I'm Ayumi. I'm sure. <laughs> so, have you gotten all our bags at up yet, Seiji? Uh, not yet. I'll go do that now. Thank you. I know it's a big favor to ask for. Um, don't worry about it. You're always so nice, Seiji. I promise I'll make it up to you during this trip. Please, please. I already told you not to worry about it. It's not such a big deal. That makes her pout. Come on. Don't you want to do something fun with me? How about ice cream like we used to? It'll be my treat. Don't forget that I have somewhere I want to go too, Seiji. You're not going to get out of it so easily. All right, all right, Ayumi. I'm sure I'll have time to go with both of you. They're always pulling me to go somewhere. Ayumi mostly uses me as a pack horse to carry things. As for Momoko, she always drags me to do embarrassing things with her. Not in that sense, though. What sense? Whenever she wants me to buy new lingerie, I'm the first person she drags along. Oh, cry me a river, Seiji. Oh no, you have to stare at a woman in her underwear for a few hours. I have no idea why. It's almost like she has no sense of shame. The looks I get every time it happens makes me die a little bit inside. Let's God, I really want to do this. Anything just yet. I want to do this in an Urkel voice because it just seems very Urkel-like. Anyway. I know we have to settle in and everything first. By the way, Seiji, I know you're going to love my swimsuit. I have a bad feeling about this. I just know she's going to be showing off as much skin as possible. What about you, Ayumi? How do you think you did with your swimsuit? Uh, what do you mean? Come on, we spent... C quiet! There's no need to talk about that. Is there something I should know? N no of course not. My swimsuit will be very dignified, <laughs> something to be proud of. That's not what I remember seeing. Ha! 
Ayumi moves faster than a flash of lightning, preventing Momoko from speaking. Don't go there, okay? I have a reputation to up- to upload. To upload? Is that yeah. what it said? Oh shit. Oh god, they're cyborgs. Also, I look at her face. I wasn't going to do it, but then I did. Look at Momoko's face. They look like they're both she from different animes. has seen some shit. Yeah, the art style of Sakura Beach is a bit different than the other Sakuras, but I think it's actually the same uh, artist. Like, not just that, but both of these girls look like they're from different series based on style. Oh, I see what you mean. Like, just look at their eyes. Anyway, I really need to grab those bags now. You two just do whatever you do. Make sure to grab my clothing bags first. Mine too. How am I supposed to tell which bag is which? Well, maybe if I just grab all of them at once, I'll shatter my spine. But it might work anyway. Uh... <laughs> it takes me about Did I do that? half an hour. That is way too deep for Urkel. It takes me about an hour, a uh, half an hour to get, and half an hour? Wait, what? Half an hour to get all the bags back to our room. Our room? You're rooming with them? Huh, I'm not exactly unfit, but going up and down the stairs with such heavy bags, my legs feel like they're gonna snap in half if I put more, any more weight in them. Neither of them helped with the bags, but I'm not worried about it. I always do my friends favors. I've known both of them for such a long time. It's funny how time just passes without you even noticing. One day I was only meeting these two for the first time. Now, nearly a decade later, we're here. Why do I get the feeling they've both been putting the moves on him, but he's oblivious? Probably. It's only really now that I've given it any thought. I guess we humans aren't a very comfortable, contemplative species. It's all about the here and now, not the past or future. Uh, if only I could go somewhere to think super hard about things and post it on the internet for all to see. I don't really plan to sit in this hotel room and waste all of my time thinking about the past either. There's plenty of time for that when I get home. Ayumi and Momoko have claimed the larger bedroom, leaving me with the tiny bedroom in the corner. They insisted that they had to share a room together, and that the other bedroom wasn't suitable. The two of them have been inseparable for as long as I can remember. I guess when you're together for that long, you get used to each other's company. What I'm really hoping for is to share a lot of moments with them on this trip. There's nothing more valuable that... Uh, that... There's nothing more... Value, more value that memories created with the people. Oh God, those were two typos uh, back to back. Y'all phoned you it care in. Care about didn't the you? most. On another note, I can't help but notice how quiet it is. Are they even in their room? Hello, anyone there? I knock on the door several times. There's no response at all. Did they already leave the apartment? Why would they leave without me though? Amy, Momoko. Are either of you there? We can open the door. I'm not really worried that I might find them. I'm sorry, did the saxophonist get super drunk before playing his opening notes? What the fuck is wrong with her foot? Why the fuck is she looking at him like that when she didn't respond? She's probably looking at him like that because she didn't want us to see her stanky leg. Anyway. Well, I found them. Momoko stares back at me in horror, lying there in nothing but her panties and bra. Her eyes go wide in shock. This is Seiji! What on earth are you doing? She reaches for a nearby pillow and clutches it to her chest, but it has the opposite effect of what she intended. It only causes her chest to spill over the top of it. Then it wouldn't be clutched to her chest and be clutched to her ribcage, nearly to the point of making it escape from the confines of her bra. Uh, wait, what? Apparently, that, that sentence makes it whatever. That's not we're how moving on. Work. No, stupid perverted pillow. <laughs> she tosses it at me. That pillow, it's going way too fast. I barely duck in time, looking back at where the pillow hit. A massive crack in the wall. Sh what are these walls made out of? Cardboard? For, for a moment. Although, a if cold... they were that paper thin, why couldn't she hear him? For a moment, a cold chill goes down my spine. If that had hit me, I would have died. Oh, Christ, oh my dude. Oh, God. No, I can't think about that now. Defuse the situation, Seiji. I. I. Uh, sorry, <laughs> please forgive me. This is a horrible misunderstanding. Seiji! This is so embarrassing! 
Don't look at me with those perverted eyes. Shall Hashtag I look at you with my other eyes, lady? Oh, wow. I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it. My <laughs> virtue as a maiden has been taken oh from me. God. Oh, my God. He opened the door because he thought you weren't there because you didn't respond to when he was like, hey, are you there? I, this, you created the situation. I have a feeling she's just playing this How up to be How can you live with yourself ridiculous. knowing this, Seiji? Uh, don't you think that's a bit dramatic? I think that only thing makes things I don't know. worse. She threw a pillow that cracked the fucking wall. <laughs> As she flails around trying to find something to cover herself with, when there are perfectly good bed sheets under her, I hear something go snap. Oh no, please don't tell me. Her bra falls away from her chest. It seems to all happen in slow motion. The bouncing that happens in response, the gradual look of horror overtaking her face. And the sinking feeling, knowing that I'm not going to live to see another dawn. Her face screws up as she prepares to unleash a cry of despair. No! Wow, I am going to have to do some editing on that one. Oh yeah, I'm seeing wow, the spike. Wow, you super clipped. Don't look. Don't you dare look. Pure thoughts. Momoko immediately palms chest into her hands but it's too late out now you need to get out now with one arm she grabs another pillow and aims it directly at my head i'm too slow this time well game's over it hits me with enough force to easily make someone's skull crack not mine though because mine's thick the impact sends me flying out of the room before i it's funny like this would be like, this would work if it was visual, because it would be visual jokes. That, oh, isn't that silly that a pillow would be thrown into a wall so hard it would crack? Like, that would be a funny visual joke. Yeah. But it doesn't work in text. They're trying to write an anime yes. for a visual novel. Yes, exactly. It's kind of strange. Anyway, before I know it, my vision fades to blackness. <sighs> I come to, after a while, with the worst headache I've ever had. Momoko is a lot stronger than she looks. She could eat, probably have killed me if she wanted to. I know that it looked bad. She doesn't have to assault me over it. How long have I been out for, actually? Surely they'd be finished dressing by now. Also cautiously, I knock on the bedroom door. A cheerful, bright voice responds. Who is it? It's Momoko. Come it. Come on, you know who it is. No, no, you aren't who I think you are. The person I know would just charge in without knocking first. <laughs> He's such a silly person, but that's what makes him so adorable. Ugh, very funny. Woman, he knocked! Er, so, are the two of you dressed yet? Are you ready to head to the beach? Maybe. What would you prefer? Maybe you'd like me to show up in only my panties? That's not the case at all. I'm sure it isn't, silly. I just know she's pouting like she usually does, even though she's hiding behind her bedroom door. Typical. He's saying that just to pretend that he wasn't being perverted before. Momoko steps out of the room. She... You're showing, if not as much, then more than skin that you were upset about five seconds ago. Or how long it's been, not anyway. Not just that, but if your bra snapped based on, like, just being on you, that thing's going to frickin' slingshot and kill some people. <laughs> Toddler, dead by bra, film at 11. She's already in her swimsuit, ready to head down to the beach immediately. Ayumi, are you ready too? There's no response from her. Ayumi, come on, I know you're out there. Oh god, is she hiding from me? There's no need to be embarrassed, Ayumi. Come on, show yourself off. Me, she doesn't look Whatever. Meekly, Ayumi crawls out from her hiding spot on the balcony. She's also dressed in her new swimsuit, and her face could be a bright could not be a brighter shade of red. There she is, already ready for the beach. She looks cute, doesn't she? I have to admit, when she doesn't have her nose up in the air, she can look really cute. How do I look, Seiji? D do you like my swimsuit? But it's not as if I care about your opinion. Oh my God. I'm just curious. I'm a bit Ugh. taken aback when she asks me that. Neither of these women are attractive to me. Normally, she doesn't care what I think at all. Oh, God. What do you say, Coiny? Coiny making her first appearance on the series. 
an do episode one. Do you make an one. obvious faux pas or do you make an obvious gesture? You look cute. Well, do you think I'm ugly? Is that what you're trying to say? What? I haven't even said anything yet. You look fine. Really, you do. I think you look cute. Y you really think so? Yes, you look good. Oh so don't worry God. about it, okay? Don't forget about me. Do I look good too? Momoko never misses an opportunity. Yes, you too. I'm sure you're going to attract a lot of attention. There might be a nice guy out here who will notice you. Both of their faces turn extremely sour. What kind of faux pas did we do? You will find out in tomorrow's episode. Don't forget to check the links to, in the video description for buying Sakura Beach on Steam, as well as links to my book, to our Discord channel, to our Facebook page, our Twitter account, and other ways you can support our channel, including donations through PayPal and Patreon. We love you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for another episode. If the ending wasn't already spoiled by Sakura Agent, I'd say that this was just like a visual novel based around two girls who've been putting the moves on this dude for a long time, and then it turns out he's gay. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe we'll get there. <laughs>